We're shaking, people. Back with another reaction. Back with some more solo Morton Harkett. And we're going back to his 1995 album, Wild Seed. We're up to the second tune, which is called Spanish Steps. Uh, I should point out it's spelled S-T-E-P-S, not S-T-E-P-P-E-S. So we're not talking, you know, treeless grasslands and large plains and expansive areas. Uh, we're talking, apparently, the architectural sort of elevating, um, I guess, simple machine. I'm not sure. Are steps simple machines? I don't think they are. Uh, but ultimately, I think we're talking steps, whether in a literal, you know, series of steps or whether that is metaphorical in terms of, you know, different um, tasks that one must complete to go ahead um, or whether we're talking um, steps in terms of, um, you know, like phases of a journey. I suspect with the name Spanish Steps, we might actually be talking like physical, you know, steps, sort of like, um, you know, classic uh, Spanish architecture, uh, say. Um, I personally have not been to Spain, so I can't speak to it on a, you know, sort of uh, personal level or with great detail. I am aware of, like, some of the architectural forms, um, because again, like, where I live in Southern California, you know, a lot of the, like, earliest um, buildings and sort of, you know, like, the European style were, you know, Spanish um, buildings and missions and the like. So um, I do have a small sense of Spanish architecture, but not enough to know, like, uh, what and in what specific context uh, these steps might be. So, um, yeah, my inclination is to think it's more literal, but ultimately um, we'll have to see. So let's get to it. This is Morton Harkett's Spanish Steps from his uh, 1995 album Wild Seed. Quality, 
sort of, you know, be a bit uh, in protest of uh, fade-out endings, especially with his singing. You know, I mentioned it before, there are times where he's, like, doing sort of vocal flourishes as it's fading. It's like, no, like, you can't do that. What are you doing? Um, but bottom line, a cool tune. It feels like, you know, a lament. It feels like a sort of regret at the current nature of um, configurations, though maybe it's just, you know, sort of um, devotional, so it's like about, you know, transgressing that distance, um, those 5,000 miles. So, um, yeah, bottom line, gotta listen to it some more. There's some, um, you know, thematic layers that I'm not clear on yet, but it does seem like it's, you know, about the interaction of, um, the narrator and someone specific, and, you know, the, the distance that, you know, separates them, whether that's in a more immediate, proximate sense, or in a more long-range sense. So, uh, yeah, a really cool tune. Um, I love his singing. Uh, and again, I've noticed already after only a couple tunes um, that his singing uh, and his solo work does seem to have a sort of deeper, more like folksy kind of bluesy delivery. This one may be less so bluesy, but still folksy and at, like lower in his register perhaps than um, a lot of work with Aha. Uh -huh. So uh, yeah, bottom line, shout out once more to Yun for sending this material to me. I am very grateful. Also in regard to you, uh, I am going to start uh, Alpha Hell, Alphaville and um, Roxette very soon. Uh, bottom line, I've been sort of catching up on a lot of things and I want to make sure that I sort of like, you know, do that in the right order and, you know, have everything in mind when I start doing that, those deep dives. So uh, yeah, once again, shout out to Yun for sharing uh, not only that material, but again, this uh, Morton Harkett solo album, uh, as well as a couple other solo albums. Uh, when we get to the end of this, there's a couple more chapters that await us. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.